Let us look at the various mathematical expressions that we need to either design refrigeration systems or look at their performance. As you will find out, the mathematics is quite simple. Uh, there are uh, just a few simple equations uh, that we need to know to be able to do these computations. So the first item is uh, cooling load. Cooling load is a rate of heat energy removal uh, from a given space. The common unit for cooling load is called ton of refrigeration. One ton of refrigeration is equal to 288,000 BTUs per 24 hour. In other words, one ton of refrigeration means a removal of 288,000 BTUs in 24 hours. This is also equivalent to, in SI units, 303,852 kilojoules per 24 hours. Next we look at refrigerant flow rate. Refrigerant flow rate represents the amount of refrigerant flowing in the refrigeration system per unit time. And we can obtain that by dividing the cooling load, that is the rate of heat removal, divided by H2 minus H1. Now, just for our reference, uh, let's draw a simple pH diagram so that we can uh, refer to where some of these conditions are. So note that a ideal cycle can be drawn on the pH diagram, uh, as you recall from a previous uh, tutorial. And uh, we had, remember, the locations E, A, B, C, D. And then we have H1, uh, H2, and H3. So the refrigerant flow rate uh, is cooling load divided by H2 minus H1. That represents the heat being removed in the evaporator section. Next, we will look at the compressor and we will look at the work done on the refrigerant by the compressor. And that equals the refrigerant flow rate times H3 minus H2. Note that H3 minus H2 on our pH diagram refers to the compressor uh, between points A and B. Next we look at the condenser and we consider the heat rejected by the condenser, either heat rejected or discharged by the condenser, and that equals refrigerant flow rate times H3 minus H1. So all the way from B to D, H3 to H1. That is the heat discharged by the condenser. Uh, we assume that uh, the superheat that is also discharged between B and C is a uh, part of the heat rejected by the condenser. For the evaporator, the heat absorbed by the evaporator can be calculated as a refrigerant flow rate times H2 minus H1. Note that H2 minus H1 represents the evaporator section and that is the amount of heat that will be absorbed by the evaporator. So those are the various calculations for the, uh, uh, the, the major components of a refrigeration system. In order to evaluate the performance of a refrigeration system, we calculate a term called coefficient of performance. And coefficient of performance, we also call COP, uh, just the acronym, COP equals H2 minus H1 
divided by H3 minus H2. Note that H2 minus H1 is the section that represents how much heat is absorbed by the refrigerant. H3 minus H2 represents the amount of work done by the compressor on the refrigerant. So these are the various uh, mathematical expressions that are useful to us in uh, calculations in involving uh, refrigeration systems. Note that we need information on H1, H2 and H3 and we will see in the following tutorials how we get that information from a pH diagram.